Hey guys, drh 2 one here to give you part 12 of the tutorial series for the speedrun of Dragon Lord 1 on GBC. This one we're going to fight Dragon Lord 1. So we're going to take a quick look at our items. We have 5 herbs, we got the Lotus Sword, which is not equipped, we're actually going to equip that during the battle. So we're going to mash through a little bit of text, but then we're going to stop and hit B to make sure that we don't select yes here. If you do select yes, you're going to get sent back to Remuladar, wake up from uh, a dream at the end, and you're going to have to walk back through Dragon Lord's castle. So, here we go, we're going to equip the sword, it automatically doesn't attack, so we're good to go. You need about 8 attacks to kill Dragon Lord, and every time he casts Heal More, it takes 2 off of that. He's got around 240 HP or so. So you don't know exactly what he does with Heal More, but you do know it takes around 2 attacks off. We are going to play this battle a little risky since we're on level 17, and that we're going to actually assume that we're going to go first in the battle. He's got a chance of going first, but it's not a high chance, so we're actually going to assume we always go first, and we're going to need to get a little lucky. Also, you notice we're probably about one hit from killing him, but, and actually we were, but we healed up at 40 HP, and that's because in Dragon Lord 2, he's actually going to do his first attack for around 50 damage. So if you're not above 50 HP, you will die at the start of the fight. So that was Dragon Lord 1. It's a pretty simple fight. You just keep attacking until you're under 30 HP, or until the last attack, and then you heal up. You're hoping he doesn't cast a lot of heal mores, because if he works out your MP, you're not going to have a good time on Dragon Lord 2. So next split is Dragon Lord 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.